come down to this line I am going to do it uh, 10 inches so from here I shape my dress you can see shape my dress with my free hand I draw and draw to the busts on your on your lycra you can use it on your poly you can use it on on your mesh yes mesh that stretches you can use it on your crepe and so on and so forth in fact on any material that any fabric that stretches so i want to show you just a quick one how to do it it's not gonna take long so i thank you viewers for coming back always i thank you so much and i thank then the new ones for coming to my channel please do subscribe to be getting my notification and especially hit the notification button so that you can get my my notification each time i upload a new video so thank you very much for being my talented one so here I am trying to cut my my little basic dress. This is a basic dress that I show you now. So if you want to fold just a simple style, it's a sleeveless with a round neck. So I have to fold according to how my fabric stretches. So I want to show you this. It stretches more here than here. You can see stretch just a little one but right here yeah so you have to fold the stretchy part along the gates of the body size so here i have to get my length the length of my dress is um 45 the first thing i do is to draw out the basic line which i always do here is gonna be my shoulder line then from here i measure my length as i go down i'll be marking every point of intersection that i need the armpit is going to be because i'll add band to the armpit like one inch band instead of doing nine i'll now do nine and a half it's supposed to be ten but the half is gonna serve as seam allowance to the joining of the armpit band so I do it nine and a half. Then the waistline from my client's body is 17. Then the hip line from my client's body is 26. Then the length is 45. So as I mark on my 45, which is here, as I mark on my 45, I'll have to add seam allowance that's or folding allowance two inches. The next thing I do is to mark, I've marked these lines that I got from the shoulder, the armpit, waist, hip, and length, then seam line, uh, hemming line, hemming allowance. So now the next thing I do is to mark the shoulder you can see that i folded my fabric into four one two three and four so it's to make it easier i'm cutting the front and the back 
at the same time this is the shipping side and this is the center side that is the center front and the center back um, so I folded into four to make my work easier the next thing I do is to mark out the shoulder her shoulder is 15 because my fabric stretches I'm not gonna add any allowance any seam allowance I mark 15 here that is 15 divided by 2 is 7 and a half. I mark it on the shoulder line. When I come down to the armpit line, I mark my 7 and a half. Then join it. As for here, you can use your curve, but I'm used to freehand. So I'll have to do here. I'll have to use one because I told you I'm going to add one inch that will bring the armpit to the normal length that I want. So instead of doing 2 inches for the armpit, I'm doing one you see this is the armpit hole now so the bust of my client is 46 46 divided by 2 sorry 46 divided by 4 will give me 11 and a half so when I check here 11 and a half I'm doing it on the dots because my fabric stretches pretty good it stretches pretty good so I'm not adding anything because if I add anything it's gonna be oversized so then the waist is 38 on the waistline I measured the busts on uh, the bust on the armpit line that's where I measured my bust so don't forget that it is very important <coughs> excuse me then on the waistline is 38 38 divided by 4 will give me nine and a half so on my waistline i measured nine and a half on the dots and on the hip line her hip is 46 46 divided by four will give me 11 and a half so i mark 11 and a half here and because i want it to be sort of midi uh, sort of pencil but not too pencil as i did 11 and a half here when I come down to this line, I am going to do it uh, 10 inches. So from here, I ship my dress. You can see, ship my dress with my free hand. I draw and draw to the bust. It's remaining the neck now. So you can see. My beautiful pattern without neck so now I want to do the neckline uh, normally the armpit is supposed to be three inches but because I have um, neck band that I'm adding I'm not using three inches I'll use two and a half it's supposed to be two but I have to add my seam allowance which is half so it will now come up to two and a half inches after sewing it will be two inches here plus the band so two and a half and now i have to dip in the back uh, by three and a half because i want it to be four after sewing it will come up to three i join in a curvy manner i join this is for the back remember i'm cutting the front and the back at the same time so three and a half then for the front six and a half so if i'm doing six and a half and i'm gonna remove um one inch for the band neck band if i remove it it's gonna be seven and a half then i'll add half for my seam allowance it will come up to seven i hope you understood this normal normal i want the neck to be at six and a half with the band everything is at six and a half now because I want to add one inch band to the neck, I have to remove that one inch. Because if I don't remove it and add the one inch, it's going to be excess, maybe choking, and that is not what I want. So now, because I'm adding it, it's supposed to be at six and a half. If I remove one inch for the band, it will be at seven and a half. But now, if I do it, it will short. So I have to add half inch. For the seam allowance that I'll use to join the neck band. Hope you understood it now. So let's move on. Then, in a curvy manner, I'll join it to here. Yeah. And beautiful. So, time to cut. 
first I have to cut the, the back together and after cutting the back I'm going to remove and cut the front separately I just want to cut the back neck now now I have to remove the back you can see it has the same shape I remove the back fold back the front pattern I've separated the back now so I cut pattern this is the front you can see how down the neck is and this is the back so I'll now cut the neck band so in case you want to know this is one and a half yard so I want to do the neck I fold here have to fold here from the remaining pieces the band is one inch but because uh, because I I'll fold it into two it's gonna be three inches if I fold it if I fold three inches it will give me it will give me uh, one and a half after sewing with seam allowance it will remain one inch so I mark see what is left of my one and a half yard so thank you very much thank you for watching please if I, if you have not subscribed before please don't just leave my channel without subscribing now please subscribe you will learn a lot from my channel please just subscribe to my channel and make sure you hit the notification button it's very important to me so that you'll be getting my notification each time i upload a new video thank you both the new and the old you are the talented ones mm. thank you so very much thank you